comes to the 11th verse in the second chapter, Sarah. the evaluation of life under the sun. And Solomon makes three evaluations what you of doing, what honey? he's discovered in his experiment. And this gets better as we go along, so just hang with me now so you can see this. First of all, in verses 11 and 12, Solomon files this report. He says, man's work does not satisfy him. Notice what he says. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had done, and on the labor in which I had toiled, and indeed all was vanity and grasping for the wind, there was no profit under the sun. Then I turned myself to consider madness and folly for what Hi, can baby. Man do who succeeds the king. Hi, baby. He said, I, I just need you to know that what I've learned from all of these experiments is that they don't really fill the void in my life. They don't satisfy me. Man, is it anything that that which is under the sun, then the wise and the foolish are the same, and it doesn't make any difference. Hi, Sarah. Notice the third conclusion. Hi, sweetheart. Man's work does not satisfy him. Man's work does not separate him. And here's one that is really kind of... Sarah! To be over 50. Man's work does not succeed him. Verses 18 through 23. Now read what he says. Sarah! Then I hated all my labor, in which I had told them. Are there, baby? Leave it to the man who comes after me. And who knows whether he'll be wiser or fool. But he's going to rule over all my labor. And there, sweetheart. I've shown myself wise under the sun. This also is vanity. Therefore I turned my heart and despaired of all the labor in which I had told him the son, for there is a that man who is with wisdom, knowledge, and skill, yet he must leave his heritage to a man who has not labored for it. This also is vanity and a great evil. For what has man for all of his labor, for the striving is a part with which he has toiled under the sun? All his days are sorrowful, and his work burdensome, even in the night he has baby. no rest. This also is vanity. Hi, baby cakes. something that all of us have thought at one time or another, whether we like to admit it. Build what you want. Save what you might. Have it all in stocks and bonds, in the bank, in real estate, wherever you might put it. But one of these Hi, days baby you won't cakes. manage it anymore. Hi, baby you cakes. Have no idea what the person who comes after you is. Hi, going sweetheart. To if you think ultimate eternal meaning is in the accomplishments of life, just stop and think about it for a moment. The processing of life as we view it from our little venue distorts life. Come stay, Sarah. Gives us permission to enjoy the life that God has created for us. Come to as Daddy. Long as we see God as the giver, and He's in the center of life. Finally, come to Daddy. Solomon says, "True enlightenment is you a gift can do God. it." Let me cover this quickly. He says in verse 26, For God gives wisdom and knowledge and joy Come on, to a man you can do it. Sight. Come close. But to the sinner he gives the work of gathering and collecting that he may give to him who is good before You God. can do it. So vanity and grasping for the wind. Come Jeremiah closer. God Come here, honey. He gives good things to enjoy. He gives you us can do it. To know how to enjoy them. Isn't that true? He gives us the things that we enjoy. You know, I, I know some people... Let me just Come closer, this. honey. A beautiful house. Oh, you can do it. They just... You can do it, honey. They never use it. They just hoard it. I know some other Come people in the house. All they do is sit around thinking about how they can use this house for the glory of God. Having people in. You can in do the church, it. Help mission. Whatever they do. You see what I'm talking about? When God's in the picture, He gives you the enlightenment to know, and they find real joy in the things that God. Allows. You can do it. Come on closer. If you're like Solomon, Sarah, you probably experimented with some of the Sarah, same things you tried in order to discover purpose. You can come. You can come on I closer. Come here. You found the one thing that Solomon ultimately discovered: that true purpose in life comes from acknowledging that God it's has okay. a purpose for us in this world. You, it's can. okay. It'll be soon you enough. God and His purposes for your life when you begin a relationship with His Son, Jesus Christ. It'll be soon enough. To forgive our sins and make it possible for us to enter into an eternal relationship with God. If you would like to know Christ better, I will be happy to send you a couple of resources to assist you. Sarah, what you doing, baby? What you doing, baby?
What are you going to do with yourself? Huh? Have you figured out how to roll over yet? I don't think you have. You should try. Can you do it? Can you do it? Look what a little peanut you are. Look what a little peanut you are. Yeah. I wonder. What to do, you, baby? My will be for mommy. Hi. Hi, baby. What to do? You? Looking at the camera. Yeah. What if we go over here? What you doing? Tell me a story. Tell me my story. Say hi, baby. Hi there, baby. Hi, baby. Say hi, mama. What's that, the kitty cat? Did you see the kitty cat? What's he doing? Mm -hmm. Pop, 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 pop. Guess what, Sarah? I figured it out. I figured it out. What was the matter? Tell mom my story. Look at you go. Look at her going. Where are you going to go? How huh? are you going to go with yourself? Kicking like all that. How huh? are you going to go? You gonna run away? Please don't run away. Where are you gonna go? Tell Mama a story. Tell Mommy a story. Can you tell Mommy a story? Tell Mommy a story. Smile for Mama. Sarah. Who's Mommy's best girl? Who is mommy's best girl? Sarah Caitlin is my best girl. She's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. Yeah. Let's make you smile. Can we make a smile? Can we make you smile? Little pumpkin. <laughs> Can you roll over on your side? Let's see. Hold on. Hi, Sarah. What you doing now? You on your tummy tummy? Oops. That's okay. What you doing? What is that? Fishy? Is that a fishy? Can you come get it? Can you come get it? Huh? Come and get the fishy. Come to Mama. Come to Mama. Come here, baby. Come here. Can you do it? Can you roll it over? Look how big you are. Look how big you are. What a good girl. What a good girl. Are you getting tired? Burp, 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 burp. Look at our big girl over there. Look at our big girl.
Hey Sarah. Hey Sarah, what you doing? Sarah. What's our little girl doing? Hey Sarah. Hey. What's he think about this? This little seat that you got. You're just like a big girl. Aren't ya? You looking at sassafras? You looking at sassafras, Sarah? Are ya? That's pretty impressive. You're sitting up like a big girl, aren't ya? Here comes Sassy. You pretty impressive. It sure is. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Jim, when I suggested to Spock that it was time for his routine checkup, your logical, unemotional first officer turned to me and said, You will cease to pry into my personal matters, Doctor, or I shall certainly break your neck. Spock said, What is this? Since I've been 
attention on this have been checking work. Because we're starting to put a value on them. See, we're finding out it's more than noise. It's spirit. Order the Law of Confession volume from the Ministry of Confession on four audio cassettes. We sent $20.